do this in under i think 23 minutes is when my camera turns off but if it turns off i can always just turn it back on so let me just boop, 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 boop. i didn't realize that my camera actually shut off and had a time limit until the other day what was it i think becky and i was filming a weigh-in video and it just like turned off it like kept blinking and i was like what's going on and then it turned off so that's kind of annoying but it's okay i know a lot of people don't really edit when they do their get ready with me but i'll probably edit some of this because it takes me forever to make my foundations like how i like it okay so what i did was i asked you guys on instagram just to ask me questions on the little um ask me questions thing let me go see if there is any i just did it like literally right before i started this so oh yeah we definitely have some questions go to healthy snacks i feel like if i'm trying to be super super healthy i always seem to go for carrots i don't know i currently don't have any though so why do you have such an all or nothing attitude slash black black and white thinking I have to actually disagree with this. I'm not always like that. So I don't know if it's something I did that gave you that opinion. But I will say like when I do my diets, some my diets, my lifestyle changes, whatever. I do feel like sometimes I do do all or nothing. So maybe that's what you're talking about. I don't know if you mean just like regarding everything. But I feel like that's why I'm succeeding right now i know it's only been three days today's day three on this new like journey of mine and i think it's because i've stopped doing the all or nothing approach to my lifestyle change normally i'm very just healthy foods or you know stuff like that but i've taken that out of the equation and i feel like that's helping a lot so so now i'm just gonna do my eyebrows which I'm not good at so if you're trying to get makeup ideas don't don't even look at my eyebrows Just, okay the shadowing makes that look a lot worse than what it is trust me I don't like doing my eyebrows I never did my eyebrows until like a couple of years ago I don't know what is casting a shadow right here to make it look so weird I don't know thank god for editing y'all Thank God for editing. Okay, we're gonna move on. Cause... So usually I'll do that part first and then I'll do the wing, but just so it's not silent. Um, how do you deal with negative people? I just ignore it. Like literally I ignore it. <laughs> so have you ever been to Disneyland? Would you ever like to go? Yeah, I've actually been to Disneyland I think three times. Do you have lymphedema? No, I don't. Is it becoming harder to walk for you? And were you sitting while making the chili? No, I wasn't sitting while I was making the chili, but like when the chili was like simmering or whatever it's called, I was sitting and waiting for that, obviously, because that was gonna take 20 minutes. So no, I was not sitting while putting ingredients in there or stirring or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it's definitely becoming harder for me to walk. I feel like obviously because of my weight gain, but I can tell that once I lose like 30 pounds, I'll be okay. Again, obviously I need to lose so much more than that, but I'm saying I'll be okay to start walking more. It's because I noticed that it started to get harder once I've gained about like the last 30 pounds. It's so crazy to me, like how 30 pounds can make such a huge difference. It's actually kind of frightening to be honest, so. Now I'm just gonna do a little wing. I have an audience and it's kind of awkward, but you know, <laughs> Becky and Eric are in the background. So if you hear coughing and ruffling around, that's what that is. Or a dog and a cat, <laughs> who knows? I feel like I could never get my wings like to be perfect. Like they're always like sisters and not twins or cousins as people say. Eh, eh. I am not aiming for perfection today. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm super tired. I only got a, I don't know, like five hours of sleep, which that's okay. I'm just having a really hard time falling asleep. I'm actually receiving a lot more questions than I thought I would, so it's pretty awesome. What potato product would Becky be? Example, fries, mashed potatoes, hash browns. Gosh, that's hard. I feel like she'd be a baked potato. 
because like I feel like baked potatoes you can dress up real nice what is your new uploading schedule I don't have one I know I need to make one um, don't worry we're still going on with makeup I still have to do my mascara and this little glitter bit here so what did the fox say okay <laughs> How is your dad? Is he still in the hospital? No, he's not still in the hospital. He's he's doing okay. He's been going through some some health issues, which I can understand. You know, parents start to get older, and it's just really sad. So, but thank you for asking. I appreciate that. If marijuana was legal in Kentucky, would you smoke or try edibles? Huh? That's an interesting question. Honestly. <laughs> I feel like I probably might. I feel like that's a really big reason why I don't. <laughs> Let's be real. I just feel like, I don't know. I feel weird doing like illegal things, I guess. But if it was legal, like kind of like how, you know, drinking is, I feel like I'd be more be like, oh yeah, let's, you know, smoke a doobie. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think maybe like I'm just afraid that I'll get caught doing it now that it's like illegal, so. I don't see anything wrong with it. I've never had an edible though, so that would be really, really interesting. I've ate weed before. I was very desperate, because I used to smoke weed in high school. This is probably gonna get monetized now, but I'd smoke all the time. I'd go to school high and stuff like that. And one time, like, me and my friends were so dumb. We were so desperate, so we're like, oh, let's just eat some real quick. I mean, it works. Last I can lose it. It's about something that you can do for the rest of your life. And there has been stories of people getting really bad high cholesterol from it and stuff like that. And I've I've watched, you know, what I eat in a day keto. I've had friends on keto. I've my mom is on keto right now. So it's like I I know what people eat on keto because I've seen it firsthand. I've seen it online. I've seen everything. That's not what I want to eat, you know? But I am 100% for it for other people. It's just not for me. So I feel like people are gonna take that and think I'm like totally talking bad about keto, but I promise it's just not for me. And it's not something that I can see myself doing and I wouldn't want to. I like brown rice and I feel like you should be allowed to have beans and not feel guilty. Beans are very good for you. And it's just, it's, it's, it's a weird concept to me, but it's, Super awesome that it's helped people with diabetes, weight loss, etc. So I'm very happy about that. Again, just not for me. We are almost done with my mascara. I like to add, you know, a lot. <laughs> I wish I had eyelash extensions. I almost made an appointment with the girl who did my hair to do my eyelashes, but I'm kind of scared because like I'm super sensitive to stuff and I'm afraid that like it ain't gonna work out and my eyes are gonna get swollen or whatever. That worries me. How far behind are your YouTube videos? They aren't behind at all. Today is the August 29th. What's been the best part of your day so far? I think just waking up and putting on an outfit, doing my makeup. I know you're only counting calories, but why not look at the macros as well? I am, but I don't care about those as much. I'm just making sure I don't go over anything that my fitness pal is recommended for me, which I haven't been because at 2,000 calories compared to what I usually eat, I'm doing pretty great. If you could date anyone besides Becky and Miley, of course, who would it be? <laughs> besides Miley? It would definitely be Blake Lively. I think she's gorgeous. No, I wouldn't date her. That would be weird. I wouldn't date anyone if I couldn't have Becky. Ooh, they're hanging on for dear life because it wasn't good. So I'm hoping this next episode coming up will be better, but who knows? Who knows? Y'all, it's been a minute, but we have a Target haul. We have a Target haul, and I'm excited. First things first, we got some basic cotton rounds. Yes, we did. So I've been hearing a lot about Native. I really, really wanted to give it a go, so I got some body wash. I got the eucalyptus and mint. And then Feline and I both got one of the eucalyptus and mint um, Native deodorants, you guys. 
Smells so damn good. We also got some sponge daddy, scrub daddy. I'm telling you, when the daddy went into the freaking shark tank, he knew what he was doing and he was daddy for sure. Oh. <laughs> These work amazing. <laughs> what? Pauline's <laughs> jealous. <laughs> I needed a new mascara. I usually do better than sex, but I also really like the last sensational by Maybelline So got that. Okay, so I Want to try using some butterfly clips, you know, I am from the 90s. I'm a 1990 gal So I have every right I used to wear butterfly clips in fifth grade It was like my favorite I'd wear like a really messy bun and I would just like clip a bunch of butterfly clips So I might actually wear these today We'll see. We'll see. So I got some like really pretty colorful ones purple and like teal Stuff like that. And then this one is just like clear gray browns. Okay, so as you guys know I am a Blake Lively stan. She is my queen, my wife, my daddy, my mommy <laughs> Try again. Rewind. <laughs> I literally have a poster of her in my hallway. Okay. So, she's actually going to be in Colleen Hoover movie, okay? It ends with us. Y'all have told me some scary things about this, like it's super controversial, etc, etc. I don't know. I want to form my own opinion. So, I got It Ends With Us. I also got Ugly Love. And I got Confess. So, yeah, I've read uh, Layla by Colleen Hoover. I've read Verity and I've loved both. I have a couple Colleen Hoover books. I know I have uh, November 9th, which I have not read yet, but I really am excited to read It Ends With Us because y'all... So maybe I shouldn't ask what you guys think. Maybe I shouldn't. Um, so I think I do prefer this brand and style over these ones. So just saying and if anyone wants to stay like organized just clip them back on their little thing you know what i'm saying i wish i would have done that with all my earrings but but see that to stay organized but yeah i don't know i definitely prefer this look over the one i just showed you guys but eh. okay so i have officially started this massive like, this is massive. It won't even go fully on my desk. Uh, diamond painting. It's a mermaid that a subscriber sent me. Thank you so much. And this is what it'll look like when it's done. But I did this tiny little corner. Like, tiny. So what I did was I took some scissors and I just cut it. The little uh, plastic sticky part. So it would be out of my way. I've seen some other diamond painters do that. Yes, there's a lot of diamond painting videos online. And they said it was easier if you do it that way, so I decided to give it a go. And I don't know, I feel like I prefer just keeping it on. But for the sake of since it's such a big diamond painting, I'm probably going to just continue doing it like this. Okay, so my bathroom sink tends to get extremely messy within a week's time. Literally just a week. That is it. So, I'm going to be cleaning her, but I got these things from Amazon. Got two of them. I thought they were going to come um, pre-made, but they weren't. I had to put them together. But I got them for my perfumes because I'm kind of tired of this. I don't know. It's just like, they all fall. There's no rhyme and reason. Kind of over it. So, I'm going to use this instead. And I just want to do like a before and after. So, here's my mess. Backpack, perfume, hairbrush, wallet, uh, toilet paper, toothbrush, paste, trash, <laughs> ointment, because I have excoriation, you guys know that, blah, blah, blah. So, we're going to do a little before and after, which is my favorite, so let's do it. Are you guys ready? Are you sure? Because it looks so good. Dun, da, da. Oh my gosh. I was able to go shopping in my living room for a plant to put in here because I have a lot of plants in my living room. Some of them are fake. Some of them are real. I took a fake one because the real ones need sun and my bathroom does not get sun. The only thing I am questioning is I'm definitely going to keep these two perfumes 
down here. But should I keep one here and one here? I don't know. I have the other ones chilling in there. I don't know. Let me show you guys what it looks like without them. Like that. It looks more clean and pristine. So. Oop, that was loud. Oh my god, this looks phenomenal. I'm very... I got so used to using Better Than Sex mascara that I forgot how amazing this mascara is. Like, this is after all day. I have rubbed my eyes. I have itched my eyes. And look at it. It's still, like, phenomenal. Like, I don't get it. Um, it's the last sensational Maybelline. I get the very black color. And when I'm using this guy here, no, it's not as good. So update on steps, it is almost midnight and I'm only at 3,200. So I didn't reach my 4,000. Two days in a row, I didn't. So I have this would you rather thingy where every day, it's like a page a day calendar. And the question is, would you rather have a dog with a cat's personality or have a cat with a dog's personality? And I don't have an answer. Would you rather look young and feel old or look old and feel young? Ooh, I think I'd rather look young and feel old. Anyways, I don't really know what these vlogs are. I just know a lot of people come for me because I don't live the same life that I used to live years ago. And it's just people change. And like, I just have a diff different journey in life this is a different era in life right now but i'd rather be surrounded with a couple people who truly truly love me and respect me who don't want to be on camera versus tons of people who do want to be on camera but make me feel like crap every single day i know a lot of people are like oh my god you're you know your channel's so boring now because no one wants to be on your vlogs and it's because of some of the people watching me um, it gets IRL in real life. Um, people harass and stalk and do crazy mean things. And people in my life don't want to be a part of that. And I understand. I also don't want people in my life to be a part of that. Because it's just, it's vicious. And I love the people in my life. And I don't want them to be hurt. And yeah. So for now... It's gonna be me and it's only gonna be me that's how my channel started and that's how it's gonna continue um i never came people i'm um, honestly i have changed a lot in the past i'm gonna go over towards a little bit closer to disagree because i have some major social anxiety as of late so you often spend time exploring unrealistic yet intriguing ideas I, I guess I would say I'm a little bit more on the agree side on that one. Your travel plans are more likely to look like a rough list of ideas than a detailed itinerary. Honestly, that's disagree. I am very, I have crazy obsessive. I like to be planned. I think a lot of people in my life know that. So I like everything to be planned and it's kind of annoying because I feel like I annoy other people with that personality trait. You often think about what you should have said in a conversation long after it has taken place. I'm gonna go with a little bit towards the agree. If your friend is sad about something, your first instinct is to support them emotionally, not try to solve their problem. Ooh, that's hard because I try to do both of those things because I feel like I can give really good advice even though I don't take my own advice. <laughs> I'm honestly going to go with agree though because sometimes I feel like it's just easier to support them emotionally. People can rarely upset you. <laughs> Disagree. You often rely on other people to be the ones to start a conversation and keep it going. I'm going to say agree with that one. If you have to temporarily put your plans on hold, you make sure it is your top priority to get back on track as soon as possible. I'm honestly going to go towards the little bit towards disagree. You rarely worry if you made a good impression on someone you met. That's a disagree. I always, I'm, I worry about everything. I worry about what people think of me. It's a bad trait. It would be a challenge for you to spend the whole weekend all by yourself without feeling bored. See, I have a lot of YouTube videos I can watch, a lot of Netflix, a lot of all that. 
Mm, that one's hard. The whole weekend. I'm gonna go a little bit towards disagree because I feel like eventually I'm gonna be like, I need Becky. <laughs> You're more of a detail oriented than a big picture person. I feel like that might be a neutral for me because I like details, but I also like to see the bigger picture of things. So I'm gonna have to say neutral. You're very affectionate with people you care about. I am gonna have to go towards the agree. I think all of these are like this, agree or disagree, so. You have a careful and methodical approach to life. I'm going to go closer towards disagree. Probably actually all the way disagree. You are still bothered by the mistakes you made a long time ago. I'm gonna go closer towards the agree. At parties and similar, I'm trying to like do this a little quicker so this video isn't like too dreadful. At parties and similar events, you can mostly be found farther away from the action. I'm gonna go with closer to disagree. Actually, I'm gonna disagree completely because at a party, although I do get anxious and stuff, if like a game is going on or some dancing, I like to either be watching or enjoying it as well. So I'm definitely where the action is. <laughs> you often find it difficult to relate to people who let their emotions guide them. I'm gonna go with completely disagree. Wait, yeah, disagree because I'm the same way. So I relate to people like that. When looking for a movie to watch, you can spend ages browsing the catalog. I almost just asked Becky how I should answer this. So if there is gonna be a part two, it's gonna be really interesting because I feel like when I choose a movie, it does take me a little bit longer. So I'm gonna go closer towards the agree. You can stay calm under pressure. Honestly, it depends on the situation. But a lot of the time, I feel like I can be that person that is like, calm down. Let's take a deep breath. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know to agree with that because I prefer city life. Or at least I think I do. <laughs> you like discussing different views and theories on what the world could look like in the future. Um, I'm going to go with a little bit towards agree. I do enjoy talking about that. When it comes to making life changing choices, you mostly listen to your heart rather than your rather than your head. I'm going to go with disagree on that one. You cannot imagine yourself dedicating your life to the study of something that you cannot see, touch, or experience. I guess I'm going to agree with that one. You usually prefer to get your revenge rather than forgive. I'm going to slightly disagree with that one because I do feel like I forgive a lot. Actually, no. I disagree a little bit more than I thought because I do forgive a lot. It's almost like no matter what you do to me, I will forgive you. It's kind of bad. You often make decisions on a whim. I am going to say that I slightly agree with that. The time you spend by yourself often ends up being more interesting and satisfying than the time you spend with other people. I'm gonna say I disagree. You often put special efforts into interpreting the real meaning or the message of a song or a movie. I'm gonna say I slightly agree with that. You always know exactly what you want. <sighs> Honestly, I am going to say neutral on that one. That's the second neutral I've done. You really think back on the choices you made and wonder what you could have done differently. I wanna say I agree with that a little bit. When in a public place, you usually stick to a quieter and less crowded areas. I'm gonna say I completely agree with that. That's part of my new personality because I used to never be like that. You tend to focus on present realities rather than future possibilities. I'm gonna have to say I agree. I agree with that. You often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. Um, I used to be rather very understanding, but I feel like the older I get, I think I'm losing that touch. So I'm gonna say I slightly agree. When starting to work on a project, you project you prefer to make as many decisions up front as possible i guess slightly agree when you know someone thinks highly of you you also wonder how long it will be until they become disappointed in you highly agree 100 percent. you feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation completely disagree with that oh my gosh <laughs> Maybe in high school it was like that. I don't know. You often drift away into daydreaming about various ideas or scenarios. No, disagree. You look after yourself first and others come second. 
I'm gonna say I slightly disagree with that. I feel like I try to be as selfless as possible. Even when you have planned a particular daily routine, you usually just end up doing what you feel at any given moment. Completely disagree. Every single night, actually this is a very bad habit, every single night I will write down everything that I'm gonna do the next day. I'll write it in order, you know, I'll make it pretty looking, I'll write in cursive sometimes because I feel like that just makes it more fancy. I wake up and I don't do any of it. <laughs> so your mood can change very quickly. Yes, highly agree with that. You often contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. Yes, highly agree with that one as well. You often talk about your own feelings and emotions. Yes, all the time. Or at least I try to, especially with Becky. I feel like that's important. You have got detailed education or career development plans stretching several several years into the future nope disagree you rarely dwell on your regrets i'm gonna say i i disagree a little bit i disagree a little bit spending time in a dynamic atmosphere with lots of people around quickly makes you feel drained and in need of a getaway i'm gonna say i slightly agree with that one you see yourself as more of a realistic than a visionary I do agree with that. I'm very realistic. You find it easy to empathize with the person who has gone through something that we are in our abilities and decisions. I'm 18% assertive and 82% turbulent. Whatever that means. <laughs> okay, so this is what it says about my personality type as an adventurer. I didn't know, like, I'm an adventurer? What? Adventurer personalities are true artists. Oh, thanks. <laughs> but not necessarily in the typical sense where they're out painting happy little trees. Often enough, though, they're perfectly capable of this. Rather, it's that they use aesthetics, design, and even their choices and actions to push the limits of social convention. I'm seeing this now. I really think, okay, this is cool. Adventurers enjoy upsetting, upsetting, oh, traditional expectations with experiments in beauty and behavior chances are they've expressed more than once the phrase don't box me in <gasps> this is so true i literally have a poem that i have sh i shared on uh what you call it when i was doing you now or when i was doing a youtube live stream it's literally called box and it's about that it's literally about that this is a lot. I'm sure you guys don't want me to read all this out loud. So I'm just going to read it real closely and then tell you guys the gist of it. Ooh, it says that adventurers are definitely introverts, which is crazy to me because I used to be an extrovert 100%. And I've noticed that as I've gotten older, I am definitely more introverted. So, so far this is right. And then it says surprising their friends further when they step out of the spotlight to be themselves and to recharge. Totally relatable. Oh my God, this is literally me. Cause right here it says, just because they are alone, doesn't mean people with the adventurer personality type sit idle. They take this time for introspection, assessing their principles, rather than dwelling on the past or the future, adventurers think about who they are. They return from their cloister transformed. I really feel like that's me. I'm not just being biased. Ooh, it says riskier behavior, behaviors like gambling are common with this personality type than with others. I have recently, I don't want to admit this. I don't even feel like anyone has watched this far in this video. So maybe not a lot, not a lot of people know this. There was this app. I'm so glad I don't play it anymore. But a few months ago, I spent thousands, not exaggerating, thousands of dollars on this app and that's considered gambling. So I've never actually been real gambling, like at a casino, maybe I should never go. Oh, this is literally me right here. It says, adventurers always know just the compliment to soften a heart that's getting ready to call their risks irresponsible or reckless. Oh my God, this is some creamy peanut butter. I got two of these um, chocolate dipped coconut Luna bars, delicious. Chocolate coconut almonds. Got some brown rice pasta. Got some chicken recipe jerky sticks for Twinkie dog treats. I got this Italian tortellini. It's filled with pesto. So that's gonna be tasty. Everything but the bagel seasoning. Some apples. This is sparkling pink lemonade. I really wanna try this. 
got some eggs, mac and cheese, green goddess salad dressing, dark chocolate mint creams. I didn't even know Becky got these, that sounds bomb. English toffee with milk chocolate. Dang, that sounds good too. Just some lettuce. Buffalo style hummus. I'm really pumped to try that. Mint watermelon flavored black tea. Pasta with vegetables and basil pesto. Dark chocolate covered bananas. And two things of chicken. So I'm about to try this broccoli slaw and kale salad with white chicken meat. The white chicken meat though is a little off putting. But I'm gonna add it to this bowl so I feel a little bit, oh wait. So I feel a little bit better. I need to scan it on my Weight Watchers. Whoa. 19 points? That's crazy. It's because of the dressing, obviously. I'm definitely not gonna use it all. By putting it in a bowl, it just makes me feel better because I don't want to sit here and- And wasabi is obsessed and they can also crawl on the inside. It's pretty amazing. Newest addition to Becky's shirt collection. <laughs> Did I do that? <laughs> Got any cheese? <laughs> Steve Urkel! I love that, it's very 90s. I love Family Matters. If I could find one with like, Carl looking really mad at Steve. I would I would just love that. Because he always has that look on his face, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So where did you get that shirt in case people are curious? Amazon. Amazon had that? Mm -hmm. I thought that was maybe like red bubble. No. I will tell you this, a long time ago I wrestled Bear once, which is a band, had this shirt. <laughs> had this shirt and it was uh Robot Steve. You remember Robot Steve, right? No, babe. Is it a okay. show? Robot Steve is from Family Matters. Steve Urkel created Robot Steve. See, I literally, <laughs> the only thing I remember, we have a girl. Hi. Oh, we need to put her dress on her, you guys. I need to show you that. The only thing I remember from that is him. He's my bae. What do you mean the only thing you remember from that is Steve? What about Laura? What about Waldo? No. What about Eddie? No. What about freaking uh, Richie and his mom? I can't remember her name. I like her a lot. I can't remember her name right now. You need to continue. And Carl. Continue your story. I interrupted. Harriet. There's too many people. No, it's not. Okay. Okay, and uh, Stefan. Can't forget about Stefan now. <laughs> Keep going with you, Russell the Bear. And then what happened? <laughs> they have a, uh, they had a Robot Steve shirt and it says I wrestled bear once. Cannot get that nowhere anymore. Have you tried Googling as hard as you can? Mm. I can't find it available anywhere. That's like that stupid Hopland Naruto hoodie that's tie on black and orange and it's got Naruto eating ramen on it. I want it so bad, but it's really expensive. And it's never in stock. Never in stock. Every time I get them in stock, they're being sold out. That means they're pop. Mm -hmm. Popular. Popular. It's like when Shane Dawson and Jeffrey, whatever, star. I'm not, I'm not kind of Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein? You have been watching too much TikTok. And also that documentary on Netflix. Yeah. Actually, we haven't watched any more of it. We need to. What episode? We on like um, four? Four. We also need to uh, start Hanger 1. Hanger 1? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I told my sister about that. She's like all about watching it. She really? I want to watch it, yeah. I'm shook. Wow. Yeah. But that's the story about the shirt is I can't find the freaking shirt. And I want that shirt so bad. There's not many things I want in life, but I like my shirts. <laughs> yeah. Becky, you look like a 12 year old. I don't care. This is me. And I get compliments all the She time. does. She is always getting compliments on her shirts. I think it's because no one sees shirts like that. 
Right. I mean, whenever we lived in a, you know, where we just moved from, everybody knows anyway. Um, <laughs> the pharmacy people knew me because I'm a girl with the cool shirts. Everybody always has something to say about my shirts. Especially the actual pharmacist himself. I would wear like Allison chains and, chains and stuff like that. And he would be like, oh my God, I saw them in concert. I want to go see this person for my birthday, blah, blah, blah. You know? Just yeah. All the time talking to me about music. Wear what you love. Yeah. And who cares what other people think? Like, that's point blank, period. Like, I'm always wearing tight ass pants and they're telling me, don't wear them. Listen, I came from Christian schools for seven years where I had to wear nothing but a ankle length khaki skirt and a blue polo shirt every day. I like to be colorful. And sometimes dark. And sometimes dark. There ain't no room for plain in my life. Woo! You tell them, sister. Baby. <laughs> Love. Baby. Wow. This. This right here. For the first time since we moved and I had surgery and all that, they've come to visit us quite a bit. So it's very appreciative but I wasn't able to take long car rides. I'm still even now a little worried about it, but I think I'll be okay, really. They were just worried because my incision was like, it's super big. <laughs> and with the bumps and the like complete stops and stuff like that, it would make me jerk, which then in fact, made me use my stomach muscles but i'm pretty much healed you guys um on the inside no obviously we can't see that but on the outside my incision looks incredible like it's absolutely amazing and love that for me i really just completely got blessed with the team I had for my cancer, honestly. This is what y'all were sitting on. A marble trash can and two board games. But I do wanna notice or make this known, I am straightening my hair standing up. That's a non-scale victory. I didn't even do that in high school, okay? I would straighten my hair every day in high school, which I don't do anymore. And I would literally sit the whole time. But I decided, you know what? Even if my arms start hurting or my back, which my arms do not hurt at all, my back a little because of how I'm like holding my weight. But I told myself I'm gonna stand the whole time. So I still have all this to do, but I'm doing it. Woo -hoo! So I did it. I straightened the hair. We are successful. Brushing my hair. I lose a lot of hair, sis. It happens. We're gonna use Gucci Bamboo for my perfume. Boop. Boop, Sister and brother, this, the virgin coconut oil stuff I bought. Oh, and my face wash is in the shower. I also bought the face wash. It makes me so smooth. I haven't broken out from it. Although I will say, after I put this on, my face burns, but I know it's because my body just like is not used to it, which is understandable because for the longest time, I never put anything on my face. So we are on our way, trucking along and take off the sheets for them and stuff like that, just so they don't have to do all that. And so I took a picture of the brand of the bed because it was so comfortable. I was in no pain the whole night. I felt so good. And our bed at home, like it's it's good, but I've been like waking up in pain lately, the bed at home. So I'm thinking about buying like the exact bed that that hotel had, cause it was like magical. But right now we're just getting some gas. I think Becky's gonna go in and get a water. Um, I'm like dehydrated. We haven't ate anything. I'm honestly not in the mood to eat. I've ate like a crazy person this weekend. Cool, I have a zit coming in. I'm just like kind of falling apart, but 
what's new. So we're almost home. We decided to stop and get us some food. So I'm gonna have some sushi. You think I would've had sushi over the last few days, but I haven't. So I'm craving it. So I'm about to have some. And I got some water. I just feel like really, really dehydrated for some reason, so. So I got a spicy California roll. Oh my God, I love ginger, I'm so excited. And a shrimp avocado roll. So we are back home at Pillow Mountain. Jesus! She, oh my God, you guys, I don't think I've ever seen a dog so excited. She's still excited. She's like, oh my God, it was the sweetest thing I've ever seen. And then Trixie and Chubbs were so excited too. Like, I love that feeling of like knowing that you're like super missed. But yeah, it's kind of like bittersweet to be home, to be honest. Like, the best part about being home is the fact that I get to see my fur babies. But now I'm just back to like monotony. Is that the right word? Such a like blah life. Oh God. I don't know. It's like that feeling. I'm sure you guys have been on like a vacation or just went somewhere and did like a staycation type thing. And you come home and you're just like, now what? Becky took off her really cute Nikes. And then plop those down. I'm not getting my Nikes wet. What are those? They're memory foam. I've never seen those before. Yeah, you got, I got these at like... <laughs> Wait, show me how to get out. Because that's my only like issue. How am I going to get out? How do you get out? Ew, there's a bug. Oh, let it survive and live. Poor little babes. <laughs> Did it fall? Oh my god, you flicked it. So I was back. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Watch that bug. That thing just. Yeah, I don't know if I can lift my leg like that. I'm gonna have to roll out. <laughs> the tiki's aren't lit, but the who? The tiki torches. Oh, yeah. The exactly. the who? We're swimming. This is how you swim in Kentucky. In a pool? We saw for a whirlpool. We were doing whirlpool. Why'd you yeah, guys stop? I got in, y'all. You should have seen how I got in. It was so funny. Why'd you stop? I fell. Yeah, that was pretty funny. It made me think of Todrick's new song, Shablam. Uh, not Shablam, but Nell's hairs, hips, hills, where you go, she blame for me. Right. It was hilarious. So anyways. Becky in the background, creeping. But yeah, Still we're trying in the whirlpool. Well, Bye. if someone doesn't move, you're not going to be able to whirlpool. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying. Okay, you guys, so I just got out of the pool. I'm pretty sure that sunscreen worked. I will say, though, I also feel like I'm not used to, like, chlorine, because there's chlorine in our pool, so my face burns a little. But... <laughs> You guys, getting in and out of the pool was a funny situation, but I did it. And I feel like I got exercise in there because I would go around in a circle and like I'd actually like move parts of my body like going back and forth and stuff. But majority of the time I just kind of chilled. Thank you, George. She also went in there with mama, didn't you? Didn't you? She was in there with me. So earlier when we were on the way, Aaron, oh my God, why are you you? Earlier when we were on our way, when me and Becky were on our way home <laughs> from our little vacay, Eric was at the soap shop and I was like, okay, you got to get me some. So I had him get me this coconut lime and look how cool that looks. It almost looks like a crystal. Okay. He also got me strawberry mojito. And if you guys want to know a little bit, you know, a little tidbit about me. My most favorite, one of my most favorite smells is eucalyptus. So he got me eucalyptus spearmint, which this is my favorite of the three. So if you guys know what Vicks VapoRub is, that is like my most favorite smell in the whole world. So me, Becky, Eric, and Ricky, we just got done playing Mario Party. It was really fun. And now Becky and I are just chilling, 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 chilling. Chillin', cause Eric and Ricky 
went somewhere. Oh my god, look at this like curly cute. I can't. That's actually really cute. <laughs> hey guys, so it is the next day. I forgot to end 